Good evening, everybody. I know for some of you it's not evening, so good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever it is where you are. It happens to be evening here, and the dear dinner crowd has just left, and now I'm just focused on the forest and let you just relax and just look at the forest and enjoy the peacefulness and the stillness as I just bring to you a little bit of content about Summer Wells' case today. As far as Summer herself, there is no breaking news. Everything is pretty much still the same as far as what the sheriff has said. Everything is still on the table. Everybody's still a suspect, all that good stuff. So no changes as far as the case itself. But what I want to talk to you about today, right now, is I want to mention this promise that Candace has made to Ernie Shell that she was going to come to his platform in two days and reveal to him and every one of us what happened or what she knows. She's going to tell us the story. Tell us the truth. But I just want to say to y'all, she might do that. She might actually do that. But I don't have any faith in Candace that she is going to tell the truth in two days. She has been through a lot in ten and a half months now. And if she was going to break and tell the truth and come forward, she would have done done it before now, in my opinion. And also, I think if she was going to spill the truth or any valuable information, then she would do it to with law enforcement and not YouTubers. In my opinion. Now it could turn out that Candace is way less educated in law because I mean she legally she really needs to go to law enforcement with this any information that she is holding about summer. She don't need to be waiting two days, much less the last ten and a half months. She has not come forward in this long. I don't believe, for one minute, I don't believe that she's going to come forward for Ernie or for anybody else. Unless she is sitting in a jail cell, she's not going to tell nothing. She's not going to tell anything. It's going to, in anything that Candace can tell you, will incriminate herself. That's why she's not going to tell you anything. Her and Don are just as guilty. One as guilty as the other in this. I, I believe it. There's no evidence whether Don yet that I know of, that I'm aware of, that Don was even at work all day that day. So, I mean, we don't know. We don't know anything outside of what the, the sheriff said that he has on the table. That's what they're working with. And as far as I know, nothing has been added to that table. If it has, we have not been told about it. Or I haven't heard about it anyway. I don't think there's been any changes made. 
and uh, I just wanted to take a minute to mention that Summer's Reward Fund, I believe, is only going to be available until this coming up June, because when it was first created, it was created, I do believe it was created in June, and it was for six months, and then by request, they did extend the reward fund for another six months, and I do I believe that we are approaching that six month mark. It's coming up, and I do believe that that's going to be June, but I'm not positive. Because I'm not positive exactly when the reward fund was set up. But I will do a deeper dive. And I'm sure my chat will put it in the comments. I'm sure somebody in my chat knows. Or one of my mods. I'm sure somebody knows. That's um, part of my, fam my YouTube family over here. I consider all of my subscribers and my mods and my chat, all of you are my one big family that I love so much. And I appreciate all of you for being here and being part of this channel. It's growing, it's growing organically, and that means that it's growing at a very slow pace. But it's doing good. It's staying steady for now. And that's all I ask for. I don't ask for it to be rocking and rolling over here. This is a small channel. And it's a, a nature videos channel. And I have given Summer Wells and her brothers the platform to my nature videos channel. And I made a personal commitment to Summer that I would allow her to have my platform until the end for Summer and at the end of this case. Whether that be that some that arrests are made and we find out what happened to Summer or whether Summer's found. I'm, I've been here for a long time. I've been putting up videos every day. I feel like I, I should. And if I don't put one up every day, I feel guilty because I feel like I'm supposed to do one every day. And I guess it probably makes me feel better because I feel like I'm doing something for summer. But anyways, it does help raise awareness. And that's what it's all about, is keeping Summer's name out there and keep talking about Summer and talking about her case. It is very, very important to keep talking about Summer and her case because we don't want the light to dim on this case. We want to keep the lights bright, all eyes on this case. And I don't want this case to go cold. We are, I dread it, but we are looking at possibly even hitting the one year mark. And that's sad. That is just so sad. Knowing that we're sitting at ten and a half months now. Just over it. And a month and a half from now will be one year. And it's just so sad. It's disappointing. It's a little bit discouraging. I hope that law enforcement comes out and talks to the public and gives us a little bit of hope, a little bit of insight as to what they're doing or at least that they're doing something that they're still actively working on the case. I think it would give a lot of people some hope to hear that.
and any other details that they can possibly provide for us without putting, without jeopardizing the case. But I do believe that eventually we need to be patient because I, in my heart, in my own opinion, I believe that they are stacking up evidence of many kinds. And I believe that there will be indictments. I believe that this will go before a grand jury. And I believe that it will be heavily, heavily looked at. And I do believe that it is being investigated even now. I believe that there are things happening behind the scenes. I believe that people are in the right places for now. And so I believe that good things are going to happen and big things are going to happen. And we just need to be patient and wait for it. Some cases, especially like this, some cases can take longer than a year. And they have taken longer than a year. God forbid. I hope this one don't. But it's very possible that this could linger on for, I don't know how long. We're all very hopeful to get answers and get closure very soon. And with all the evidence that we as creators see, I just only hope that law enforcement sees the same things and big things are going to happen. I'm sure they do, and I'm sure that they are aware of many, many things that we don't even know about yet. They've been saying, I've been hearing people say that Candace was missing in action. No, she's not. She has not been missing in action. She's been doing whatever Candace wants to do. She's been hanging out with, at her friend Kathy's camping out and fishing and living her best life and kudos to Ernie for finally getting her to cry some look like it might have been real tears from what I've seen and those were not tears for summer by the way those were tears because Ernie hurt her feelings Ernie's trying to make her tell on herself Ernie's trying to make her tell the truth. Poor Candace. Ernie's interrogating her. Ernie's bringing her discomfort. So she asked for two days. What's she going to do in that two days? Why two days? Is it because she's going to run from Ernie? block Ernie in every way she can and try to get rid of Ernie forever because he's too close. He's done put her on the spot. She's done made a public promise, but she won't keep it. If she does, I'll be surprised, but I don't believe she'll keep that promise. Candace is not the type of person to worry about the worth of a, the value of a promise. If I promise you something, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that I come through with that promise. And if something happens and I'm not able to come through on that promise, I'm going to come to you and explain to you what happened and why I was unable to fulfill that promise. And apologize. At least explain. But I don't even expect that. If she does, it's going to be lies. I, I think she's just putting him off until she can, for a couple days, till she can find a way to get out of it. Till she can find a way to get out of being put on the spot. This is one time that I'm happy she's in the spotlight. 
She wanted the spotlight so bad. There you go, Candace. You're in the spotlight. All eyes are on you. That's why you've been hiding. You've been hiding from Ernie. You've been hiding from the public. You hide from BK. You've been hiding from everybody. Candace must be feeling pressure. That's the only time Candace hides is when Candace is under pressure. And those tears, even though she tried to talk about summer, I just want my daughter. No, it was not about her daughter. Just She just noticed that she happened to be crying on a live stream and she tried to take advantage of that situation and make it sound to the public like she was crying over her daughter when in fact she was crying because every time she has a conversation with Ernie, she thinks it's private and then she finds out later that it was on the internet and that he's been recording her phone calls and now he's using some of those against her. And that's why she was crying. It had nothing to do with Summer. I just want to put that out there. I don't believe it was for Summer or about Summer or for the boys. It was all about too much pressure being put on her and her feeling betrayed by Ernie and Ernie's putting Ernie's putting her in the spotlight, making all eyes on her. She made the promise to y'all. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? When that two days, when that two days is up, what's going to happen? With her supporters that she has. Are they still going to support her if she don't show up after she promised? She prom made a public promise to everybody that she was going to show up in two days on Ernie's channel and tell all. What's going to happen? Will she still have supporters if she lied to everybody publicly? If she hides? Because I really believe that she's going to hide. She's going to get rid of Ernie. She's going to block him. Probably in Benny. If she's still in communication with him, I don't know. But I think she'll probably block a lot of people on YouTube. And try to stay away from YouTube to avoid Ernie and avoid the scrutiny from the public that she's probably going to get for breaking a promise. If she breaks that promise, and I do believe she will break it. I have no faith in Candace, and I do not believe her. She has given me no reason to believe that she tells the truth. I don't believe she'll, it's going to happen, so please don't get your hopes up. That big truth is going to happen in two days. That's not going to happen. She would first have to, the smartest thing to do would be to go to law enforcement first with, with her truth. And that would probably mean that she would be arrested as soon as she did. There's a card, a red cardinal out there on the ground by the fire pit. Real bright red. It's a boy. I love it when they show up during my summer videos. It's getting close to getting dark. I can't believe one come this late. They're not rare to this state, but they are kind of rare for this area. It's always a surprise when I see them because they don't come every day. And we don't have a lot of them. But if it comes over within, or my camera can pick it up, I'll show y'all. 
But anyways, I just wanted to come on here and give my nature fans, the people, the ones that love my nature videos, a little bit of nature. So I did a little short nature video right before this one. It'll be uploading first, and then this one will be right behind that one. This is my summer video for the day. I didn't have any new content on Summer herself. I don't have any new content about the boys. Uh, the only thing that I know is about that promise that Candace made. And I just want to tell my friends, the female and the male cardinal both are out there now. They're both together, and they're the only things out there. There's no squirrels or doves or nothing else. Just two cardinals, a boy and a girl. That's the same two that come once in a while. I hope they'll come where I can pick them up with the camera. They're so little. But anyways, I did get a chance to find some of Don B's videos where he was out searching for summer. And he did find some tunnels where some pictures have been taken of summer in the past. But um, I, I was really worried about him in that first, that one tunnel, it was real dark and he went in there unarmed, and he went alone, and I was really worried about what could happen to him. I hope he don't do that anymore. I hope next time he's at least armed and at least takes somebody with him, and uh, I thought he searched in some good areas. He went to places that I couldn't have done, especially by myself. And going through that dark tunnel, it had to be scary, and it had to have a really eerie feeling in there. It had an eerie feeling just from them looking at it on camera. So I give him, you know, I say good job to Don B for doing that. But he wasn't able to make it to the to the tunnel that I've been wanting to search the most. I can't pronounce it, but it starts with an S. And I think it was really close by where he was, but I think it was flooded. And that's why he, I think he went there, but it was too flooded out for him to do a video or a search down there. But I would like to see somebody do some searching around in that area because, you know, Josie's name was spray painted in that tunnel and Dr. Phil's name was spray painted in a heart directly across from Josie's name and it was not there in 2020, but it was there in 2021. And I just feel like there might be some significance to that. And Summer's picture was also taken in front of the entrance to that tunnel. And then the story behind the tunnel is very alarming that Josie's name and Dr. Phil popped up inside that tunnel, knowing the past and knowing the meaning of names being painted onto the walls of that tunnel, the meaning behind it is very scary. And the fact that they took a picture of Summer that same day, they was taking her around in that area to certain several different places that day and taking her picture in the same outfit in several different locations that day. And most of them were by water. And in that area, Don B has located the exact area where those photos were taken. And those photos 
were taken in Summer's final days before she went missing. And we can tell that by the, her size and the length of her hair. It wasn't too far in the, you know, in the recent days. It wasn't, it was leading up, it was in the recent days leading up to the day she went missing. So he did a good job at locating those locations and going there and doing a little search. There's only so much that one man can do and he did the best he could do. He went there, he filmed it, he showed everybody the area, all of the locations, and hopefully maybe he'll make it back to the other tunnel. And if not, maybe somebody else that lives in Tennessee could go down to that tunnel that starts with an S and it has Josie's name painted in it and do a video down there and maybe a little search around, just look around and film around the area and let us see what's around the tunnel, what's on the other side of the tunnel, what else is spray painted inside there that we might not know about. I'm just really curious about that tunnel, knowing the past of the tunnel and knowing the legend behind spray painting somebody's name in the tunnel. That legend speaks volumes. So it's really close to the where the whales live. There's evidence that Candace has been there before and she's had summer there before. She took her picture right in front of it. Her son's name is written on the wall on the inside of the tunnel. Dr. Phil is directly across from his name. I think that all, that all means something. And maybe it don't. But it couldn't hurt to take a look around. If I ever find my way back to Tennessee, I'm going to try to find it and do a little search myself if other people don't get to it before I get a chance to because I think it's worthy of being looked at. Anyways, he did a good job. He picked really good locations. He did a good job at picking places that Summer's pictures were taken. That was a good idea. And that was places that she had been in the final days leading up to the day she went missing. So it makes a lot of sense. He picked some good locations. I would like I would also like to have an opportunity to go to Warriors Path, Warriors Park in that area. I want to go look around in the wooded area where she's where Candace said that Hunter went and spent quite a while in the woods and she says she didn't know what he was doing when he got back from doing whatever he was doing in the woods. I don't know what he was doing in the woods, but I would like to know if there's any evidence of what he was doing in the woods. So I would like to go there sometime and look around and just see. You never know. I don't expect that I would be the one to find any evidence, but you don't never know. Any one of us could find evidence. And when I go searching around, it's not going to be about the reward. It's not for the reward. It's for finding summer and justice for summer and justice for the boys and closure closure in this case that's what it's about so thank you everybody for joining me for today's video i apologize that i don't have any wildlife to bring to you 
in this video and but I thought the calm forest might help some of you. It's a little it's a nice little scenery, I think. But anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for being here. And if you're new to the channel, I welcome you. And I'm sure you're going to fit right in very quickly. Become part of the family. And if you're here, you're already part of the family. So, welcome to the family. And I hope you're checking out some of my previous videos. My views have been down lately, but that happens. Sometimes it's due to algorithms, and sometimes it's due to uh, other reasons. You just don't ever know. But you can check out some of my other videos, and it always helps the channel. If you watch my videos all the way to the end, that's a big help to the channel. If you like the video, that's a big help to the channel, and every channel can use some help. So, to keep the channel growing naturally and organically, let's do all those good things. Like, comment, share, all that good stuff, and thank you for watching.